One of the biggest economic news of the business week was a formal flag off of the Nigeria economic recovery and growth plan by President Muhammadu Buhari. In a manner of speaking, Wednesday's event puts the president's administration's signature on a formal document of national economic development. Business Morning Today takes an exclusive look at the NERGP for the next one year and the next four, next one, I beg your pardon, and the next four installments. Joining me live from Abuja Studios is the Honorable Minister of Budget and National Planning, Udoma Udo Udoma. Good morning, sir, and thanks for coming on the program. Good morning. I'm um, delighted to be here. It's good to have you. Also, in the studios here with me in Lagos, Channel's global headquarters is Ibrahim Babalola, an investment analyst with Afrinvest. Afrinvest is a licensed investment bank and securities trading firm. Ibrahim, good morning. Good morning, boss. Thanks for coming on the program. Ibrahim is a guest host on the show today, and we'll be asking a few questions of the Honorable Minister and giving us the market's perspectives on the NERGP conversation. Now, but let's get started uh, with a brief look into what the uh, president uh, says on Wednesday, we'll go back to this report very quickly, then we'll cross over to ask questions of the Honorable Minister. Sister Abuja, take a look at this. President Muhammadu Buhari is taking another step to fulfill his election promises to Nigerians. <laughs> The president is launching the economic recovery and growth plan which will run until 2020. The president says his administration is committed to reviving the economy by repositioning the country from an import-dependent nation to a producing country that can be self-reliant. Our aim, simply put, is optimize local content and empower local we seek not just to take the Nigerian economy out of recession, but to place it on a path of sustained, inclusive, and diversified growth. The plan has three broad strategic objectives, restoring growth of the economy, investing in the Nigerian people, and building a globally competitive economy. It targets to grow the gross domestic product to 7.0 percent by 2020. The Minister of Budget and National Planning says the document articulates over 60 intervention initiatives that will be implemented over the next four years. It focuses on five execution priorities and which are central to achieving the 7 percent growth projected by the end of the plan period. These are namely stabilizing the macroeconomic environment, achievement of agriculture and food security, expansion of energy infrastructure, particularly power and petroleum, improving transportation infrastructure, and driving industrialization, principally through local and small business enterprises. The plan requires the involvement of states and federal lawmakers. The only thing left we will talk about is implementation. But I believe that implementation not only relies on the delivery unit, I think it relies on all of us. We must make it work. It has to work. We have a great opportunity now with strong leadership and political will to make it work. On behalf of the Senate and members, I want to also pledge that we will make it and make sure it works. On behalf of the Nigerian Governors Forum, that the 36 governors would take ownership and ensure effective execution at the subnational level, as this is the surest way to achieving the sustainable, inclusive growth. Already, the president has approved the establishment of a unit in the presidency that will monitor the implementation of the plan. Your Excellency. So let's get started with a brief uh, look back into the road to the NERGP has traveled, or what we call the making of the NERGP. Take us through uh, this, Honorable Minister uh, Udoma, Udo, Udoma, thank you very much. Uh, so uh, take us through the road map, uh, the road leading to the making of the NERGP, all work that was done across sectors, across stakeholders to birth this document. Uh, thank you very much. Um, the plan 
really, you have to start from the president's campaign. He campaigned on three issues. Uh, Anti-corruption, that was number one. Uh, uh, restoring security and fixing the economy. So when we came in as a cabinet in November, he charged us to go forward and execute his plans. So as far as the economy was concerned, we started with the strategic implementation plan for the 2016 uh, budget. In that plan, we promised that we would come out with a medium-term plan after extensive consultation. And that extensive consulta consultation started with a retreat in which we invited top economic experts, development experts, uh, 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 officials from uh, state governments. We also invited members of the private sector. And so we, we, at that, we started with the retreat, and then we followed up with very many different consultations. We consulted with our development partners, we consulted on at least two different occasions with the states, both with the commissioners for planning as well as with the governors. Then we consulted the National Assembly. We had an extensive session with the National Assembly, and at each of these consultations, we got inputs. Then we consulted with the private sector on at least two different occasions, and we got inputs from all these different sectors. We made sure that what we came out with was an inclusive document, a document that captures all uh, the, 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 the various aims and uh, this thing of the country as a whole. So, and that was the process. Because the process is important. Because in order to execute this document, we must have a buy-in from everybody, particularly from the private sector, as well as from the state. So that process was important. And you heard the, the, the stakeholders there. You heard the, uh, the Senate president, uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. You heard the chairman of the Governor's Forum acknowledging the process, that this was uh, extensive consultation before we came out with this plan. Uh, Honorable Minister, the natural question taken from uh, what the president says was that this document, uh, therefore, uh, is, has all other economic plans in one single capsule. Uh, in other words, this is a warehousing. This 140-page document warehouses this entire economic plans, visions that have been put together by other ministries and MDAs. Yes, that is correct. Uh, this was really produced by the whole Federal Executive Council. At different stages, we launched and announced uh, different sectorial plans. Uh, we came out with the agricultural green, uh, green uh, uh, alternative. We also uh, announced the uh, seven big wins uh, for petroleum. Uh, we also announced the solid minerals roadmap. So all these different initiatives which we are working on, and if you recall, we also set up, uh, the president set up the presidential uh, committee on the ease of doing, doing business. And we also looked at power sector reform. So all these initiatives which were announced were brought together in a single document to make it easy for anybody wishing to deal with Nigeria, anybody wanting to invest, anybody who has anything to to, to, um, to do with the economy, to have in a single document uh, the total picture of all the initiatives and the economic programs of government.